This is going to be a quick little video on uh, how to put a uh, rear cam drive on a small block Chevy for a sprint car. Uh, I've never done this before, so I'm not an expert, but I looked all around the internet and couldn't find anything on it. So uh, I decided, well, I guess while I try it, I will shoot a quick video so if anyone else is into this issue, they'll have something to go on. Basically all I could find is uh, drill a uh, one inch deep 33 64 hole, tap it, and screw this in. Well into the cam thought that might be a little work, so um, I had an old cam so I did do a test and the only issue that I really had was getting that whole square. So I uh, bought this drill guide off Amazon and I think I should be able to put that right there and make sure I keep that square. Um, I heard uh, several people talk about to tap these uh, covers out but I couldn't do any good tapping. What I found I had to do is take a, a punch, punch a hole in it, and then pop it out to expose the cam. You're not going to use that again anyway. Just got to be careful you don't damage anything inside there when you're punching it. I'm going to put a little uh, grease right around the edge of that cam just in case there's any shavings. They'll stick to this grease instead of trying to get in there where that cam is at. The edge of that cam. Other than that, everything else is pretty much sealed up back here, so just doing that it ought to take care of any shavings and I'll clean it out good when I'm done. Uh, gonna start with a 3 8 inch sorry, 3 16 inch bit. Uh, you know the cams are pretty hard so I don't have to worry about center because there's already a divot in the center of the cam. Well, that bit's not quite long enough to even drill into it, so let me give a little more bit here. I wasn't thinking I gave the one inch from the uh, angle plate there, and that's set in a lot bit, pretty much, from the one inch. So. Probably won't be able to get a full one inch hole. Since I have a bottom tap, I probably only need like a three quarter inch deep hole. I think that one inch is for, if you don't have a bottom tap, to give your tap room. It's drilling, but drilling pretty slow. That is, you know, pretty hard metal in that cam. Now, I'm going to drill it again with a quarter inch. Now I'm going to drill it again with a half inch. I have a half inch guide. So well, that looks like that's going to work. Uh, I'm going to finish drilling this with a half inch. 
Well, got my half inch hole drilled. I've got a uh, 3360 force, but I don't have any kind of guide for it. So I may just go ahead and see if I can tap real carefully into that half inch hole. If not, I'll see if I can't do something to uh, guide that 3360 force. Looks like this is going to tap into that half inch hole, all right. I used a regular tap just because I thought it would cut in easier. I've got a bottom tap. After I get this regular tap done, I'll probably run the bottom tap in. <clears throat> I really couldn't use the tap wrench on it because the way I've got it on this engine stand, I couldn't get it in there. So I'm just using a ratchet. Clean those threads out with a little WD-40. <clears throat> then I'll put the bottom tap in. Starting to cut now, I can feel it. Should be deep enough. A little more WD-40 clean out those threads. Then I'm going to take some brake clean and clean out this area where I put the grease and stuff. Make sure to rinse all those, <clears throat> get all those shavings out of there. Okay, now I put the drive in there. I probably will Loctite this eventually, but I'm not going to right now, just in case I want to uh, shim it out like a sixteenth of an inch or something. That's a cam drive.
And then this one kit I got came with a little seal. Uh, so I'm gonna put that on there. What I might do is put a little grease in there. Uh, If it actually gets oil in there, it probably, I don't know, probably gets a little, but I'm just gonna put a little grease in there just in case. That tapped in I think that's all ready to go so I guess that's how you put a cam drive in it looked like it worked for me so